Alright, hey everyone, this is a tutorial on how did you pitch snare holes with GarageBand. Um, it's harder to do with GarageBand than it is with Reason, Fruity Loop Studio, um, yeah, and there, there's different ways you can do it with GarageBand. Um, there's a fairly easy way where, here's my piano roll down here, um, you, 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 um, use the software instruments to, uh, draw the notes and make your snare roll. Now, um, and then there's a different way where you use your own sounds, like this is an, uh, an 808 snare, that's a PL, um, that's the one I prefer, but um, this way is easier and more efficient. So, basically you make your pattern here, I'm just gonna do that for now. And you're gonna um you're gonna want uh it's the second, third, and fourth beat. And you go over here and you go to pitch bend. And so your first beat, as you can see up here, this is our first beat from here to here. This is our second beat, and this is our third beat that we're going to use. So if you click Command and click, go all the way to the top, and then you click Command again right here, and then again right here. Um, so, um, and as you can see, you click Command however many times you need to, however many dots. So you basically put one dot here, at zero or negative one or however close you can get it and then so you have you have a really high pitch here a medium pitch here and then a low pitch here so you would click one way down here kind of tricky so I'm going to zoom up some um, um, so fiddle with it and once you get it then you're good so now that you got that um, I don't know how good the quality will be because it's just through my computer mic. I'll turn on my speakers a bit. Alright, so here's what we get. Okay, so it's not too bad. Um, I'm going to slow this down to like 85 or something. You choose. Anywhere between like 85 and 90 is good. So we're going to go back to our notes and then you can make your pattern. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do this double that. So here's what we have. I'm gonna slow it down even more. Okay. So now you make your pattern however you want. I'm just gonna go. These are 64th notes, so I like to go. I don't know. It doesn't matter really. Okay, so something like that. Alright, it's not too bad. Um, so, that's one technique. And then, there's the other way, which you use your own sounds that you choose. 
So I have an 808 snare here. And down in the uh, editor thing, you zoom up. Actually, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the playlist, whatever view or whatever you call it. So now um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for one measure. Uh, let's see. And then once you got that. Double this. Oops. What the heck? Hold on. Alright, there we go. Okay, so. Now, you make your pattern. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to try to do the same pattern I did last time. I don't know, something like that. Okay, that doesn't sound too good. Well, it doesn't really matter, because that's not what I'm trying to show you, but, um, <coughs> so now, <coughs> you got your pattern, now you're going to go over to the track info here, and we're going to do the pitching part of it, so, you go down to AU pitch, where's that, once you get it, um, so I'm not going to adjust anything here because um, I'm going to add an automation for that um, in this. It already comes with volume and track pan. And you can add any of them that you put down here. So I'm going to put um, pitch. I'm going to check pitch and that's all I want. So now I got pitch. So. Um, it starts out at 94.4, so I want to raise it, because I'm going to do it with this four beats, so I'm going to raise it, uh, a lot to 585.8, and then on this next beat over here, I'm going to go down to 396, or 86 or whatever it was, and then I'm going to go down again to, uh, 256. Then I'm going to go down even more to 94.4. And then you can, if you want, I don't know if it'll sound good, but I usually just like to, in the middle of this, what is this at? Hold on. 94. So then I'll make one down to negative uh, 94. So here's what it sounds like. <laughs> Alright, so it's okay. Um, it sounds bland right now. It sounds kind of bad because there's no music with it. But, um... That's basically it. And both of those ways, whatever you like to do better... I prefer this because I can use any sound that I want. Um, so that's that. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, check out my new beats. They're a lot better than my old stuff. Um, all right. Bye.